Donald Trump visited Las Vegas on Sunday and offered a huge gratuity to the estimated 260,000 hotel and food service workers here and millions more across the country who count on customer tips. Return me to office, the former president said, and your tip income won't be taxed. The declaration drew a roar from the gathering, which vastly exceeded the reported 6,000 tickets issued. In July, Nevada's minimum wage for tipped employees will rise to $4.35 an hour, but employers will still be required to make sure those workers earn at least $9.50 an hour. Trump made his promise at an outdoor rally in the city's Sunset Park, attended by supporters who braved 100-degree temperatures and a blazing sun to see their candidate for the White House. The announcement was apparently a drop-in to the former president's campaign stump speech, in which he excoriated crooked Joe Biden's recent immigration executive order, which supposedly closes the southern border if certain criteria are met, as BS. The crowd started chanting the full word for a minute or so. Trump was jovial with the crowd, asking, it's not too hot out here, is it? They were so worried that we issued a warning, don't come, so only 20,000 showed up, quipped the ex-pres. That number could not be independently verified, however. Before the rally, several Trump backers expressed steadfast support for their candidate, suggesting a possible flip of Nevada, which backed Joe Biden four years ago. Typical was Philip Karpinski of Las Vegas, a retired mental health counselor, who said you may not like Trump, but he was right about the economy, right about foreign policy, and right about the border. And obviously, Biden's been wrong about all three.